Alright guys, we're at Target again. Let's see what kind of movies we can get. Um, these are five dollar DVDs. Um usually just looking for Blu-rays. So and here's the fifteen dollar or under deals, Blu-ray steel books. Okay. Um let's see. I already have a lot of these, so um Oh here's one. The Mission Impossible original Blu-ray. The first movie. I'm gonna get that one. It's thirteen dollars. Pretty good. I like it. It doesn't have as much action as the other ones, but it is a great film. I already have this steel book. I already have Lock Stock. I already have Law Abiding Citizens. I already have the Scarface one. Uh, I already have Born Identity. I already have Born Ultimatum. You guys were with me when I picked up It Follows. Movie review coming soon, <laughs> um, but I'll leave an annotation if you weren't there for it right up here. Okay, so you can check out that video. I already have a lot of these. I have Shaun of the Dead. Oops, I have Shaun of the Dead. Southpaw. Oh, dude. Southpaw Steelbook. Twenty four ninety nine. I'm gonna get this one too. I'm gonna get this one too. Jake John Hall. Looked like a great movie. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm gonna get that. See what else we can find. Oh, here's one. Three pack, triple feature, all of them starring Al Pacino. Oh no, except Seven doesn't have Al Pacino. Seven's a great movie, I already own it. Insomnia's a really good one too. I don't own that, or The Devil's Advocate. Devil's Advocate is real good. It's about two lawyers, they're both lawyers. I don't want to give away the twist. Insomnia's great. He's a detective starring the late Robin Williams as well and a young Hilary Swank right back there. It's a great film, but I already own it. I already own Seven at least, so... Um, I don't know if I should get it. Plus it's $13, so... Probably just skip over that and head down somewhere else. Let's see. Oh, here's some. Life Out Loud movie collections for 10 bucks. That's not a bad deal. But it is on DVD, and I'm predominantly trying to focus on my Blu-ray collection, so let's see what else we can find. Uh, Wedding Singer, Going the Distance. These are all, these three are great movies. These three are great movies. Um, I've seen them all. But for 13 bucks, I just, I don't feel like watching them again at this time. By the way, I'm filming this on my iPhone, so... If it looks different than my other Blu-ray hunting episodes, that is why, okay? Let's see what else we got. American Sniper. That's out of place, so it's not $10. Let's see. Oh, we got some classics here. Please Don't Eat the Daisies, Calamity Jane, Love Me or Leave Me, Romance on the High Seas, Doris Day, all of them starring Doris Day. Let's see what else we can find here. Happy Feet, Happy Feet 2. Let's see, We Are Marshall, this is like a football triple feature. The Departed, Goodfellas, Aviator, I already saw that one the last time I was here. Um, I saw this the last time I was here. Carolyn Kumar and Beer Fest, looks pretty fun. Um, the Shining, no, alright, I think I'm pretty much done. Oh, here we go, here's another section. Exodus, The Equalizer, Entourage, The Movie, Ninja Turtles. Stick to the original. Get Hard. It's a good movie, not worth 15 bucks, in my opinion. Let's see what else. Fifty Shades Grey, no thanks. <laughs> no thanks. Expendables, How to Train a Pet Dragon, number two. Insurgent, The Judge, Mr. Robert Downey Jr. and Mr. Robert Duvall. Looks like a great one. I'm going to wait on that one as well. There's some kid going absolutely haywire with a toy in the background. So if you hear that toy noise, somewhere over there. Okay. Let's see. The perfect guy. No thank you. Let's see. Paul Blart Mockout 2. This is not a good sequel. I like the first one. That's not a good sequel. Taken 3. Every time I see this in a store, every episode I see it in a store, I'm going to just bash it. So I hate this film. I figured out the ending in the first two minutes. Don't buy it. Don't watch it. Don't waste your time. Save yourself. Spy, starring Melissa McCartney, Jason Statham, Jude Law, and Rose Byrne. Brian. This is a great film. A really funny film. Let's see what else we got. Terminator Genesis. 
Steelbook Edition, Trainwreck, War Room, X Men Days of Future Past, American Heist, Exodus, let's see, Ghostbusters, Expendables 3, John Wick. Guys, this is a great film. I already own it. If you don't own it, if you haven't seen it, make the purchase. It is worth ten dollars. If it was worth twenty, if it was twenty dollars, it'd be worth it. Let's see, Maggie, review for that coming up soon. Nonstop. Liam Neeson. That was a good one. The uh, nonstop right there. It's a good one. Let's see what else? Angels and Demons. Not as good as Da Vinci Code, but it was a good one. Batman Forever. They have a four pack, so instead of buying this for seven fifty a piece, you could just buy a four pack for fifteen dollars with with uh, the other two films. The other two films with Michael Keaton in it. Green Mile, seven fifty. You know, I've never seen where am I? Oh, there we go. I've never sorry guys, I'm getting used to this iPod recording. I've never seen the Green Mile. So I might pick that up. This one le looks the least touched, so I'll pick that up. Um, let's see, Shawshank is a classic. Seven, Inception, Space Jam, Space Balls, Training Day, Kung Fu Master, starring Jackie Chan, Dances with the Wolves, Kevin Costner, Mystic River, it's a great film. Castaway, another good one with uh, Tom Hanks. Let's see, The Hurt Locker, Jeremy Renner, awesome film. Harry and the Hendersons, I've never seen it, but I know it has John Lithgow in it. You might remember him as the um, guy from Shrek. Also, the serial killer from the uh, the Trinity killer from Dexter. You got Goodwill Hunting, Robin Williams, Rest in Peace, Gangs of New York. You know what? I'm going to get this one because... I haven't seen it in, in its entirety yet. So I'm gonna pick that one up. Silence of the Lambs, I already own. I'm gonna cut the film right there. And um, this video, I'm gonna cut it right here. And I'll see you in the next aisle. All right, so they have Batman Begins. What is this, a Steelbook edition? Batman Returns Steelbook. The, uh, the Batman with Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson. Steelbook. Um, these are great films, and they're all ten dollars. And they also have Dark Knight. It's an interesting day here because I don't have that much money money to spend, but <laughs> so it, it's hurting me. It's hurting me right now because I kind of want to get them all, but I I know I can't. But if you guys are looking for these, Target has them ten dollars right now. So check them out. I was watching this the other day on Netflix. This movie is really disturbing. If you've never seen it, it's disturbing. If you guys saw my last episode of Blu-ray Hunting, I'm looking for Spongebob, season two. But honestly, I'm not seeing him. No, I'm not seeing him at all. Maybe in the next aisle. Over, perhaps? I don't know. Let's see, Spongebob. You guys keep your eyes open for me too, because I really want to find Spongebob. Season 2. DVD or Blu-ray. Preferably Blu-ray. Not here, guys. Oops, I just crashed into something. Well, that's not good. I've been looking for it for a long time now. And, um, disappointed I can't find it. I'll probably go on Amazon and get it. Anyways, guys, let's check out that aisle. The Archer. That's a great TV show. I'm on season 1 in... Netflix. Modern Family is one of my favorite TV shows and they have them on sale here for $12. Actually season one is $9.99. If you've never seen it before, you should check it out because it's a great series. It's my second favorite comedy series right behind either Seinfeld and Everybody Loves Raymond because it always fluctuates back and forth. Down here, if you're a fan of Sons of Anarchy or if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely check it out. $14.99 is a fair price. Believe me. Let's see here. They have the original television series for Batman. Modern Family Season 6. $11.99. It's a good one. And it's one of those kind of shows where you don't have to pick up in the beginning. You can pick up anywhere. And you're going to fall in love with the characters. So, 
Oh, and for the Walter White fans, Breaking Bad on DVD. If it was Blu-ray, I would buy it. But on DVD, $12.99 every season. So that's a really great price. I'm just looking for the Blu-rays. That's uh, what I want to focus on. Better Call Saul, season one. That was a good season, $23.99. That's a great spin-off, and I'm excited to see what happens in season three. If you aren't picked, if you aren't caught up, definitely want to get caught up before that comes out. Let's see here. Game of Thrones. Great show. Um, Walking Dead. I already have all these, though. Yeah, I already have all of them. Yep. So, I don't want those. I think we're done. Let's go check out. One day. Alright guys, so I just got home, and it's time for us to take a look at the things we got together. This episode of Blu-ray Hunting. Alright guys, so the first one we got is Mission Impossible, starring Tom Cruise, the original one from 1996. This is a great movie, I love it. It is the Steelbook edition of the film. I already opened it when I was actually inside the store because I heard a rattling noise coming from this case. So I opened it up and it was fine, by the way. No worries, nothing wrong with it. Here we go. And it was totally fine. It was just that the disc was actually loose. It was dislodged from its casing. But as you can see, nothing wrong with it. So, so that's the good news. So let's see what else we got. The next one we have is Batman, directed by Tim Burton, starring Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson, and Kim Basinger. Basinger. This one came out in 1989. I'm a big fan of this movie as well. Tim Burton did a great job bringing Batman to the screen. Michael Keaton was a great choice um, for Batman. I just really love this rendition of the film. I really think that it was smart and just tastefully filmed. Kim Basinger was Vicki Vale, the photojournalist. She was really good in this film. And of course, Jack Nicholson as the Joker. I mean, that's just a classic portrayal right there. I love this film. Um, they had a lot of the Steelbook Blu-rays. I wanted to get both this one and Batman Returns. There were other films that I really wanted to get and I had my eye on, so I decided just to get the first one since it is my favorite one of the two. So this is a great film and I'm really happy that I have it. Let's see what else we have. So the next one we have is The Green Mile, starring Tom Hanks, Michael Clark Duncan, and directed by Frank Darabont who also worked on Shawshank Redemption, he directed it. And he worked on The Walking Dead, The Mist with Thomas Jane back in 2007. I hear that this is one of the best movies of all time. It is on a lot of top 50, you know, movies of all time lists. I've never seen it. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm really excited to check out this film. Tom Hanks is really a great actor, you know, Apollo 13, Cast Away. Larry Crown. He's in all, so many good movies. You know, You Got Mail. Anyways, guys, we got The Green Mile. Let's see what else we got. Next movie that we picked up is Gangs of New York, starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Cameron Diaz, and Daniel Day Lewis, directed by Martin Scorsese, who is one of my favorite directors. He's directed Goodfellas, Mean Streets, Raging Bull, uh, Casino, Shutter Island, The Departed. 
I've only seen clips of this film, pretty much all the fighting scenes, but I haven't really been able to sit down and actually watch the full movie in its entirety. So I'm looking forward to doing that now that I picked up this film. Alright guys, let's take a look at the last movie that we picked up together. Alright guys, the last movie that we picked up together is Southpaw, starring Forrest Whitaker, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Rachel McAdams. I'm really happy to have picked this up. I've never seen it, but the trailer blew me away when I first saw the trailer uh, last year. I've wanted to check it out. I never get around to seeing movies. Very seldom I get around to seeing them in the theaters. I know that Jake Gyllenhaal did a great job. Anything he touches is amazing. So I, I'm, I am certain that this movie is going to be equally as amazing as all of his other projects. So yeah, guys, those are the movies that we picked up. South Paul. Oh, by the way, this was $23.99, Steelbook Edition, Blu-ray. Gangs of New York. This one was $4.50. The Green Mile. This one was $5.00. Mission Impossible 1, Steelbook Blu-ray, that was $13.99. And the Batman original Steelbook Blu-ray, this was $10. All right, guys, so if you had fun with me today and you want to keep hanging out with me, do me a favor and like and share this video. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe. You can subscribe by clicking the red subscribe button below or by clicking on the cigarette burn insignia in the lower right-hand corner of this video. And if you do all four, that's good karma for you, my friend. My name is Max, and I'll see you next time.